an interesting start to my Kazakhstan trip. After asking the driver three times to stop at a bank, he kept saying, later, later. Then he leaves me outside my hotel and I goes, I need cash. He goes, no cash. And I was like, no. He's like, mm. He started huffing with me. No cash. I'm like, well, I fucking told you. I said bank three times. Then we eventually get to a bank and I cross over like a road, like a four lane road. And the peelers pulled me over and started shouting in Russian to me saying some crap, you know, you need to cross the road kind of thing. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Good morning, dudes, from my hotel room in Basekek, Kyrgyzstan. So today, we are on the hunt for Borat. We are officially going into Kazakhstan. Avad! So, yeah, we are making the border crossing today between Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan. Don't really know what to expect. Um, all I know is I'm getting a driver here. A driver on the Kyrgyzstan side, they drop you off, and then you get a driver on the other side uh, in Kazakhstan. So I don't know, don't know what to expect during the customs part. Um, I don't think it's going to be too dicey. I don't think it'll be anything as interesting as the Lebanese Syria border crossing. However, we will see when we get there. So hopefully they speak English, and hopefully I get through okay. I don't think it's a major border crossing to be honest, but. We'll see what happens. So yeah, if you're making a border crossing trip, apparently the, the best way to do it, the quickest way to do it is to get the car there and then meet a driver on the other side. Because if you got a driver that was taking you through the whole way, um, you have to line up in the queue of traffic, which can take hours apparently for cars. So to get to the border, it was like a thousand Kyrgyz Psalm, so about, just about a, just over a tenner. And then on the other side, it was like 40 or, it's gonna be about 40 or $50. It's about a three and a half hour drive to Almaty, I'm going to. Um, Almaty in Kazakhstan, which I think is Kazakhstan's biggest city. And it used to be the capital. It's now Astana, um, but apparently Almaty is the place to be. You can do this trip as well by the bus, I think it's called a Marushka or something. Um, it's a lot cheaper if you want to go budget, but I just don't have the time for that. Um, it takes about five hours or something, five, six hours. I'm like, nah, not for me. So, I have a driver pick me up here in about 10, 20 minutes. We will officially be on our way to Kazakhstan. Very nice. So, join me on my little adventure and let's see if we can find anything along the way. Slam. So, that is us guys just being picked up by the driver and we are now on our way to Kazakhstan, here we go. Driver lets you smoke in the car, which is good. Proper Kyrgyz hospitality. <laughs> I'm on it. Here we are guys at the border. I've just been dropped off by my driver. I'm hoping this is going to be a smooth process because my Russian is very limited and I hope they speak back in English. Probably need to put the camera down. I don't think you can vlog places like this. So yeah, next time you see me, I will be in Kazakhstan, country number 49. Here we go. Okay, false alarm, we're not in Kazakhstan just yet. I forgot, you actually have to get an exit stamp out of Kyrgyzstan first. So now I'm on route to the Kazakh side. So yeah, here we go. See you in Kazakhstan. And we are through. Happy days. We are now in Kazakhstan. That was a really smooth process. They barely asked any questions like so. 
Yeah, we're all good. So I'm getting the driver to pick him up here now. On the Kazakh side. In fact, I'll see him now. He's got my name on it. Let's roll. Let's do this shit. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Here's my driver. Cocktail. Okay. Good shot. Good shot. Let's see what. Hi. Welcome to Kazakhstan. Here we go. Beautiful weather. Beautiful. And we are in. We are now on our way to Almaty. So we have just stopped off at this little petrol station along the way on this three hour journey. And I'm gonna have a wee smoke. This driver doesn't let me smoke. <laughs> the, other, the other one did. But look at the backdrop here. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's a huge big mountain range. Absolutely class. behind that fence, big mountain range, snow on the top and all. Pure beauty, mate. So just on a wee side note there, um, give you an idea of prices. I bought some cigarettes in Kyrgyzstan. These wee minty bad boys, and they're lovely. Guys, that was a hundred, a hundred, what's the currency again? Forget it. A hundred, that was a hundred Kyrgyz som. So, just under a quid, guys or a quid for a pack of fags. Absolutely chicken oriental. Mental. So I'm just stopped off, got a wee hot dog there. I think. It's probably got the shits written all over to be honest. We'll find out later. I'll keep you informed. Drivers here. They love their tailgating here. Tailgating to the max. interesting start to my Kazakhstan trip so after asking the driver three times to stop at a bank during the trip he kept saying later later then he leaves me outside my hotel and I goes I need cash he goes no cash and I was like no he's like mm. he started huffing with me no cash I'm like well I fucking told you I said bank three times but he doesn't speak a word of English sick then we eventually get to a bank and I cross over like a road like a four lane road and the peelers pulled me over and started shouting in Russian to me saying some crap you know you need to cross the road kind of thing all right guys and we have made it here to Kazakhstan here we are in my lovely room but we didn't get here without a few war wounds so I was with that driver and I asked him about three times to go to the bank uh, to get cash he was like later later so he ended up stopping outside my hotel and he said to me, uh, you pay cash, cash. And I goes, I don't have cash. He goes, no cash. And I says, I've told you three times, I need a bank. And then he started huffing and puffing. <sighs> then, then, then we went round the corner, stopped at a bank, but I had to cross all the way across the road uh, to get to the bank. So I crossed over the road, but four lanes, kind of jaywalking. The police flagged me down and sort of, uh, sounded their siren and they were like no no crossing you need to go to the zebra crossing and i'm like okay no problem next time no problem so i got the cash out for the driver 
And then I sort of looked across the road at the driver and I says, I need to go to the crossing. And he's like, no, 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 don't worry. Come on over, you'll be grand. So I went over again and I get into the car and who was following us? The bloody police. So they wanted me to pay a fine, basically. So I had to go back to the bloody bank. I had to go back to the bank and get money out for them. 30,000 tenga, which is about, fuck, I don't know. 60 quid or something. It's about 60 quid, 70 euro. I'm like, for fuck's sake. So not a great start to the trip, but anyway, I hope that doesn't set the tone for the Kazakh trip. So uh, I suppose it's my fault for doing the jaywalking. I should have went to the zebra crossing, I know. My fault, but yeah. yeah. What can you do? Right, anyway, so that'll be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that very simple and easy border crossing. No issues getting from Kyrgyzstan to Kazakhstan. So stay tuned for the next one. I will create a new video soon of exploring Kazakhstan and not get in trouble with the police. So yeah, catch you soon, guys. Slam.